Let's bring in uh, Mark Namick. He's a political reporter and columnist for the Cleveland Plain Dealer. Mark, great to have you on. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, so I was surfing your, your, your paper, your website this morning, and what caught my eye, an article, five reasons to vote for John Kasich and five reasons to vote uh, against him. Most glaringly, you know, he can't beat Trump. I mean, it, yeah, I don't know if Ted Cruz would actually drop out. But the establishment certainly could rally behind him. I mean, the math's not there yet, but what do you think? Uh, I think he would have uh, a hard time getting the nomination if he did. Uh, or if the two of them were head-to-head -head in, in any kind of uh, race, as we saw, uh, Trump would lose Ohio, Kasich would win Ohio. Okay, but moving forward, I mean, do you see this as a potential contender if there is a broker convention and, and the establishment throws all their eggs in the Kasich basket? <sighs> yes, uh, because Kasich would play well in Ohio and other uh, Midwest and battleground states. We were really... Trump is not going to get through places like Ohio. I talked a bit about this in a, in a piece yesterday. Because Ohio reflects the national mood, we have such a great balance of, of voters here, both you know, all over the economic scale. And Trump did not play well uh, yesterday based on the results of the primary in, in anything beyond uh, some of our poorer counties. And I think that would be tough to go forward. Plus, Kasich does have the broader experience, and in your setup piece, you mentioned a lot of issues I think that Kasich will bring out going forward. Um, you know, Kasich the politician, Kasich the, 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 the wannabe Republican nominee, and then, then, you know, Kasich the man, and this is this is part of Kasich, let me just play this, this is part of uh, Governor Kasich we have come to see uh, on the trail, a softer side, take a look. I'd really appreciate one of those hugs you've been talking about. <laughs> all these months on the road, on the trail, what has surprised you the most? With no question about it, that people have come to my town halls and they tell me some of the most intimate things that bother them in their life, and they say it in front of other people where I guess they feel safe. Sometimes all they want is a hug. I found how many people out there are lonely and don't seem to have anybody that listens to them or spends time with them or encourages them. That widow who was married for 50 years, who no one calls anymore. You want to change the world? You take her to dinner on Saturday night. She'll wear that dress she hadn't worn in six months. Never underestimate our ability to change the world in which we live. But Mark, you hear other, th other things about him as well, you know, that he's rude. You know, your paper said he's running as a hug-loving, happy warrior on the trail. But in Ohio, many people have found him to be brusque, arrogant, and insensitive. What's right after he was, what af right after he was elected for a first term, he told a group of uh, power brokers and lobbyists down in Columbus, Ohio, that you get on my bus or I'm going to run you over. And he has made a very strong, uh, you know, point of operating that way. You look at, uh, you know, you mentioned the his anti-choice votes, uh, signing legislation on that. He is also. Uh, cut a lot of taxes that he brags about on the campaign trail, but that did come at the expense of money to cities and communities throughout Ohio that are now and in this election, you know, looking to raise taxes to make up for that. And, and Kasich recently in an interview said, well, these communities have more than enough police officers. I think, you know, if he were to go and interview mayors of, of any city, they would take, take issue with it. He's taken a, you know, a very different approach as a uh, executive leader in Ohio than what you see on the campaign trail. And uh, I think those two sides of him will merge as we go forward, but mm -hmm. still difficult for him to get the, the nomination, no doubt. Mark Namick, thank you very much. Cleveland Plain Dealer on John Kasich.